What's going on guys? I'm back with another box. We made up for it in the last video, so now we're just gonna pull for fun. Let's get cracking. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna open all of these boxes uh, today, but I'm gonna edit them on different days so you get a rough idea of how the price is fluctuating. Cause whenever a new set releases, the prices are always all over the place. And generally, they drop, but I'm curious because I think the Charizards and maybe the Denes as well are going to go up in price. I'm not sure because they're playable. Let's finish the pack and I'll get back onto when we get some more green cards. Slowpoke, a Whooper, Sandal, Meowth, Polyrath, and let's go for first pack magic. Blastoise GX, nice. Got Blastoise in a rock in in the last one as the first GX as well. Does that mean another hyper rare Blastoise or even a Charizard? It's gonna be in this one. We'll see. But as I said, the Charizard is playable. The Denny is definitely playable. Both of them are uh, playset cards, so you need four four of each in your deck. Quite a lot of the, uh, other trainers and all that are in all play sets as well, so... The price of these cards might actually go up after. It's kind of like Jirachi in Team Up. I think I sold 12 for £8 each on the first week. And about two weeks later, they were selling for £22. I think £23 roughly is what they're going for now. Got a red challenge hollow, it's not too bad. Yeah. That hurt when I was selling it for eight pounds and then literally a week later. Twenty pound a card. The codes might even go up. Normally codes drop quite a lot when the uh after the first week or two of the new expansion. Because this uh, this set has so many collectibles. Um, put it this way, Fero, Gravelot, Metal Core Barrier, Cotton Tea, Ekans, Carvana, a Litten, Clefairy, a Reverse Crab Brawler, and, ho oh, ho ho, nice. Blasters and Charizard come in pairs now, isn't it? Back to back as well, let's see. Ultra Forest Card 10 Boy. Never seen that guy before. Dust Stone as well. I, don't, I haven't seen those two trainers. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Don't know. Spearow, Porygon Z, and. Muck and Alolan Muck. It's a strange tag team, that one, you know? Oh. The Mew and Mewtwo cards in this one look pretty sick as well. I think Mewtwo might be the theme deck holo, but the reverse Mewtwo looks nice, and the Mew holo. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, plastic doesn't want to go away. Well done. Well, does art's weird as well because it looks like a guy in this trainer one, and the full art trainer is um, a chick. Then again, it is the uh, same uniform, so could be the chick in this one as well. Mm. I'll leave trip work, so I'll leave poker gear as well. Why not? Poker gear, I, I think, is worth something. I haven't checked it yet. Got a leaf, a weeping bow. I like this one, you know, surprise box with Gengar coming out of it. 
put a card from your opponent's discard pile into their hand. <laughs> that is a surprise. It's got a Grobin, a Geodude, a Litten, a Reverse Carbominal, Com Carbominable, and Marshadow Hollow. I love the back to back white codes. Chip Chip Isaac, Tyrog, Janine, Gone Oddish, Squirrel, I like that one. Tentacle, Aaron, Sandshrew, a reverse costly, and Vicavol. Three in a row. Is it three hollows in a row though, or is this one an ultra rare? Got a Slowpoke, a Whooper, a Reverse Spritzy, and God of War and Sylvia. And is this the alternate art one as well? Must be. Looks pretty cool. Digging the artwork on this one. Martial Arts Dojo. Do pretty strong with the left hand side of the box. Can the right hand side fare any better? I died though, because we had some we had some pretty strong hits. We're cracking it off though, first pack. It seems first pack on both sides was a white code. Got a war tool. <laughs> Gloom, Drowsy, Sandshrew, Murkrow, and Oddish, Mischievous. There's a couple of arts of that one as well. Salandit, Coughing, and a Golem. I forgot there was a hollow in that one, so I just kept going, but hey, it's good man. Oh! You can have that, I guess. Messed that up. Uh. These are the cards, some of them fell down. Something did, I don't know. I'll get a layer. It was only a green code, right? Yeah. Don't know how that happened. I'll leave greens there as well. You know, I don't really know how people can talk for 10 minutes straight in a video. I'll cut that bit out, maybe. Getting a little too excited, lifting too many cards at a time, you know, spilling them over. Got a seal, a bell sprout. See, look, I'm pulling too many. Ooh, Reverse World is pretty good, though. And Celesteela GX again. It's three cards in the same as last booster box. Whoa. Look at that one. I don't know if you guys can see it. The ridges at the top. Hasn't been cut properly. The print, the machine. It's, it's not a ultra rare, so that's right. Poliwhirl, Gloom, Dodrio, Poliwag, and Ekans, a Drowsy. It's the Pikachu, look. You can see on the front as well. At, at the top. That whole pattern along the top. A Grubbin, Poliwag, and Malamar. Here we have five hollows. Five GXs as well. So let's see, I'd say one more hollow and one more GX is what's expected. 
But is that what we're going to get? Internet search. Got Grass Energy, a ride on Greens Exploration, Tyrogue, Lowland Diglett, Slowpoke, Litten, Sandshrew, Murkrow, Reverse Grubbin, and Slowbro. I was going to say if it's uh, Vicarbot again, that would be interesting. Well, they're randomized well, I guess, the packs. Giovanni. Oh, the nice green in it. Triple XL. What's weird though is like Darium and Mahomes were going on about how this print runs amazing and immaculate. I've had quite a few errors in my one. Quite a lot of ridges. I've even got a pack of one of my old ones. Talking too much, I didn't even realize I got to the end. But it's just a crowbat, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, one of the boxes I already opened. The the pack was open in a sealed booster box. And the cards were all like that Pikachu with the they were miscut basically. One of them's even like there's another one here, look. I'm getting loads of these. What's going on? But it's an uncommon, so it's right. It's a green code as well, so it doesn't matter. I messed that up, whatever. Yeah, only a five hit box this time. It's all right though, got a Charizard, can't complain about that. Uh, yeah, let me clear it up. I'll show you the GXs again and trainers, put the prices on. See you guys in a second. So we're back with the breakdown. I still haven't looked up the prices, but that's future me's job. So he'll be putting down the prices for all the trainers. The hollows as well, but yeah, this is what we're really interested in. This is the order of values, what I think, based on uh, just card quality definitely the most this one surely must be more than Blastoise and these two kind of meh cards so they're on the bottom tier but yeah the prices will be displayed underneath or on the cards if I move it down a little bit I can put underneath here all the prices and I'll give you a box breakdown the cost I put the codes away the codes are still gonna be worth 50p each so did I make money or not? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.